All right, you guys, so I was trying to figure out what the address was for Malia's house. I know that it's probably out there somewhere, especially on Facebook, but I could not find it. So I remember, because I'm doing it, another video, I've been telling you guys this for a minute. It's coming. I just want to make sure it's right. Um, regarding Malia Davis, and I remember in a clip that I had, it was the lady... Who lived next door to them saying that she saw uh, Darion smoking a cigarette around 7 p.m. And he didn't have that lump on his head. And before that, it was the community in front of a, a little convenience store. And the reporter said that it was across the street from um, where Malia's apartment was. So what I did, bitch, is I zoomed in on the goddamn store name, found the store name, Google mapped that shit. It was two of them. But I was like, I knew which one was which. It was just a gut feeling. And I found the apartment complex. So the, car the apartment complex is Kurt Kurtwood Landing. And, bitch, I'm sitting here trying to be expect a gadget and go inside here. But it's not letting me, girl. I'm so upset about that. Because I seen a video um, on Planet of the Fakes where a guy was walking around um, the, the apartment complex. And he was showing it, saying that there's blind spots for the cameras. And I also wanted to check about see how the apartment was set up. I'm going to show you guys that in a second because Brittany claimed that when this man was bringing Malia back in, she had no idea. So I contacted Kurtwood Apartments and as if I was trying to rent a unit and I asked them like, were the units similar? And they said they were. I'm going to show you guys some pictures I don't know if or not if this is the same exact unit that Malia lived in. But again, I contacted Kurtwood Apartments and they said that most of their units are similar. They have one to three bedroom, one to three bedrooms, and each unit is the maximum of 1,152 square feet. So take a look at these photos. So I have these text messages from Source 54 Keys. I put that there because I want to, I don't take people's shit without giving them credit. So this is where these uh, text messages come from. This is supposed to be a text between Brittany and some other girl. And it's really blurry, so I'm just going to read it word from word. The day I left right before my best friend came and got me to bring me to the airport, he walked right out with me.
She seen Malia wasn't with us, man. I can't prove that shit. I just fucking can't, man. He went to work for one fucking hour. The day kid never called me and he told me she wasn't coming and told me she wasn't coming. Like, I'm so fucked up about this shit. And the person responds, the camera your neighbors have should be able to see him leaving with something there, leaving there, coming back with her, leaving and coming back with her if that's what he did. I may not be the best parent and I'm, I may not have all my ducks in a row, but I didn't fucking know. It does, and it shows him coming back with. So she says it does. And so she's lying again, telling this person that it shows him leaving and coming back. And she's saying that she wasn't aware that that baby was in that. What did I say? How many square feet? 1,152 square feet. Now, by no means is that a, a child's side shoebox, if you will. But that is an adult size shoebox. It's not that big is what I'm trying to fucking say. How the fuck did you not know that baby was in India? How? Okay, so in the beginning, I told you guys that I saw a video on Planet of the Fakes channel where... I, believe, I don't know if it's him or not, but it was someone walking around a complex showing all the blind spots and how you can get away without being seen on the camera. Now, originally, I had that text from 54 Keys for a minute. Um, I was going to use it in my the upcoming video, but I really didn't pay too much attention to it because originally I thought that Vince was the only one who physically killed her. Now, I've already stated that I felt like a lot of people had hands in Malia's demise. But I just thought that Vince was the only one who physically killed her. Seeing this video on Planet of the Apes and going back to that text message and seeing the actual unit. It makes me think that now Brittany could have physically helped kill this baby too. And it's pissing me off even more. <sighs> you guys, I cannot take it. I'm going to leave you with these clips um, of the person walking around the apartment complex. Now, I want to warn you, it's extremely choppy. Um, it like cuts in and out. But you will get the point. Please let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You can sneak out a window very easily. At this point, no camera. The camera up here shows a view. The camera's up here show views. But once you come through this window, you come through this window... You could actually hide from the camera because of these trees. You never have an image of anything. I need for FBI to take over this and solve case. Plea. This is a plea for the FBI to take over this case and solve this case. This is ridiculous. Three weeks right now and no answers to what happened to her. Nothing. No answers whatsoever. None. This is a whole walkway. There's no cameras here. Someone could go through that window, snuck out of that window, and walk the sidewalk to perfectly. You see? Just perfectly. That window, this, 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 come on, man. This is easy. You can agree with someone that's lying about someone. And you have an impression in the right. He needs to be investigated by FBI. This case will be handed over by the FBI. The first he was caught, camera, walking. Walking. He was about right here with the camera. Look at fence. If someone is smoking a cigarette on the fence, you can see them sitting down and they can see you walk by. So there's no way you won't see this person walk by. You see how far it is? a quarter inch gap between a shake and free fence. Gap, 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 gap. You can see, you can see through the
through this fence. I can walk back. I'm walking back. I'm walking back. I'm walking back. I'm walking back. Look, you can see someone on the fence. You see what I'm saying? There's no way. Number two, I see got this window inside without being seen. I could walk to the side right here. The camera won't catch me. I could walk around the back. The camera will not catch me. I could walk to the side and keep on walking once again. Once again. We need the FBI to take over this case. You understand that? And I really stress this for reason and purpose. This is very serious. This is the, one of the biggest cases that we had in the state of Texas. Of the biggest case. Three weeks, it should be more than one person arrested for this. You understand that? Three whole weeks. I have other information also. Trust me, I do. I'm out here doing the work in the streets. And the streets are talking to me. Fence. Gap in the fence. Smoking. Look at the patty. You got bottles, cigarettes, ashes, caps, chairs, barbecue pit, wind shot on the ground. Look at the mirror. So each picket, each man has a gap. So sit in here. Like I said, this is a very big clue right here. I'm telling you this for a reason and a purpose. If I'm walking about 25 feet away, seven back, 25, 30 feet out, 40 feet, you can still see someone on that patio. You can see the gap. Look at my finger. You see the gap through the patio. Am I right or wrong? Share this post. The FBI need to take over this case. I'm saying this for a reason and a purpose. Because blind spots come right here through this window. Blind spots come through this window. So I could come back in this house and sneak something around this because the cameras show nothing. This is a blind spot. All these trees are blind spots. All these trees are blind spots right here. You can't get nothing from any footage from anywhere. You keep on walking if you want to. There's no one around here to see anything. Nobody around here to see anything at all. I could keep on walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. And there's no cameras here. You see? So, this case, if you don't apply the right pressure, it's going to be a cold case. She should not have been murdered. Taking a rock from us, that is very wrong. And I stress this point because I lost a child also.